time for the latest stories making headlines now this Sunday night with the ITV News. The Queen marks her Platinum Jubilee with a gift for the next generation. Now she spends the day in Sandringham where her father passed away. She makes public her wish for Camilla to become Queen Consort once Charles becomes King. Also tonight. A lawyer claims convicted killer Levi Belfield has confessed to murdering Lynn and Meghan Russell in 1996. Remembering a Bollywood legend, India begins two days of mourning for singer Lata Mangeshka and... Marsh couldn't turn, chance for Ricky! Huge giant killing in the FA Cup as non-league Boreham Wood beat Bournemouth for a place in the last 16. This is ITV News with Lucrezia Millerini. Good evening. The Queen showed what 70 years on the throne can do today by settling a problem for her son even before he becomes king. For years, there's been debate over whether Camilla would take the title Queen Consort when Charles comes to the throne. But today, the Queen used her own celebration to make that her wish for the future. Prince Charles responded in kind, praising his mother's remarkable achievement and accepting both he and his wife were deeply conscious of the honour. From Sandringham, our royal editor, Chris Shipp, sent this report. It's from, from the Foreign Secretary. Mm -hmm. 70 years to the day since she became Queen and the message from Buckingham Palace was that the work goes on. The new footage, released today but filmed earlier in the week, has the Queen still attending to and signing papers from her famous red box alongside her private secretary. It's really, it's really nice comments including one from President Biden. Oh, that's very kind, isn't it? Behind the Queen, a photograph of her father, George VI, who died today in 1952, and also a photo of her mother, the last Queen Consort to a King. And the next Queen Consort to a King will be Camilla. That surprise wish on what's been a long debated and often contested issue was made by the monarch in her accession day message, one which she signed with your servant Elizabeth R. Prince Charles wrote in response today that he and Camilla are deeply conscious of the honour represented by my mother's wish. As we have sought together to serve and support Her Majesty and the people of our communities, my darling wife has been my own steadfast support throughout. But some of those who waited in vain to see the Queen at church today still had Princess Diana in mind when we asked about Queen Camilla. I have a little element of doubt, but I think it's probably the best thing for the country and best thing for him. Can I ask, what is that element of doubt and why would you have, say, 20 years ago thought, oh, God, goodness me, I wouldn't want a Queen Camilla? Um, the Diana issue. Exactly, yeah. Um, Still there, even yeah. now. Yeah. Yes. Queen Camilla. Yeah. You pulled a slight face there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it will happen. And yeah. I think, with, you know, she, she'll be good, I think. But obviously we still all miss Diana, don't we? And I think what she said about um, Prince Philip, that he's been her strength and stay, and he's um, helped her through her reign, then she wants the same for her son. The Queen has spent accession day here at Sandringham privately, as she often does, thinking about the day her father died and her own reign began. But this is also the first accession day she spent without Prince Philip, and that explains in part why she has been talking a lot recently about the future about a time when the crown passes to her son. At the start of an historic Platinum Jubilee year, this Queen is increasingly focused on what comes next and how she can make that transition as smooth as possible. Chris Ship, ITV News.